my name is Dr. Christopher Williams, and I am an associate professor in the Department of Kinesiology, Sports Studies, and Physical Education, and I'm also the Bob Mechanics Lab Director. Uh, my name is Adam Shove. Um, I was the captain of the Brockport hockey team, and I, I'm the head of the research project here at Brockport University in terms of dealing with the hockey team. The ACES machine is a multi-joint isokinetic dynamometer, and as such, it has the capacity to train uh, for sport specific type movements. We use the machine to train our student athletes for explosive power. Uh, I have collaborated with um, the athletics department and our strength and conditioning coaches and our team coaches in the athletic department to integrate power based skill specific training um, with the um, training protocols of our student athletes. What we do in here is we use uh, biomechanical theory and practices to identify elements of sport specific skills, for example, um, acceleration patterns during hockey sprinting. And uh, we break down those skills using tools of biomechanics, isolate specific movement patterns, and then train those specific movement patterns. Usually when the guys come in, they go through a series of five different exercises, the first one being a squat, the other one's kind of a skater stride simulation. Uh, we have a leg drive, a deadlift, and then sometimes we end with um, a, like a variation of a squat. Well, the data that we collect um, is immense. We do assessment data, both pre and post, uh, before and after training protocol. And assessment data includes um, uh, measures on the ACES machine, um, such as uh, a measure such as a force velocity profile. Uh, we also do what we call speed sets, and we measure the maximum velocity capacity of an athlete um, on a selected exercise. And we do that for all the exercises in a particular protocol. By measuring their maximum velocity, that allows us to work off percentages of that maximum velocity, and we can individualize the intensity of the training for each individual athlete. We do off-machine testing, so to speak. We do vertical jump testing. We do long jump testing. We do agility drill testing like T-tests. We do sprinting, um, whether it's hockey sprints on ice, uh, swimming sprints in the pool, or land-based sprints um, on the track. And then for our training, um, we have a series of exercises that we develop for each um, sport specific skill. And we literally save every repetition of every set uh, for every athlete um, as they train on a regular basis. And so not only can we look at pre and post test measures, we can even look at timelines of progression for an individual athlete or a group of athletes. With training on this machine, we've seen guys' numbers go up a lot, um, vertical jump, long jump, and even their speed sprints on the ice. The types of performance gains that we've seen uh, have been tremendous. Um, we've seen dramatic increases in vertical jump. The volleyball team had a three and a, half, three and a quarter increase in their vertical jump and uh, an 18 inch increase in their long jump. Um, we've seen dramatic um, increases in their sprint performance. We saw a quarter second decrease in sprint times for our hockey team as they skated a 50 meter sprint. My name is Ian Finnerty and I'm a senior here at Brockport on the ice hockey team. Just about a year ago was the first time I started using the ACES machine. The first couple times on the ACES machine was a bit um, awkward, I'd say. Um, it was very different than anything I've ever done before and uh, definitely took some getting used to. But um, after continuing to use the machine and getting familiar with it, it almost became natural. Traditional training, uh, I think, leaves your muscles a bit sore. So by training on the ACES machine during the season, um, I was able to reduce the fatigue and soreness levels in my legs. And so I think the fact that I was able to work out and not be sore and uh, be ready to go every day um, on the ice or in the weight room or and the ACEs machine, I think, really helped me um, keep my endurance levels and my energy levels high. My time spent on the ACEs machine was able to allow me to play more minutes because of my endurance and my overall strength in my legs increased. So by being able to be on the ice more, I think that's a positive correlation to more um, output on the ice. The goal is to train the athlete to the best of our ability and to motivate them to train as hard as they can on that exercise, on that rep in our daily training session. And I firmly believe that if we can get the most out of them on a rep by rep basis, then their physical capacities will grow 
their ability to perform on their field of play will grow, um, their success will grow, and anything that might come um, our way from beyond uh, the walls of the lab or of Rockport um, will grow from that as well.